I have a question for you. Do you know what's truly fun? If your answer is having the power of a god and creating life and being in control over all the small pathetic creatures you created, you're right. And if not, you're a small, stupid, unimportant waste of human resources and you will never. Oh, okay, now I'm calm again. And because I don't have the powers of an almighty god yet, I decided to simulate my own ecosystem. So, what's the plan? I want to create two types of animals and let them roam free in the forest or something and these animals should have the desire to drink, hunt, sleep and fuck, uh, I mean, uh, hugging each other. <laughs> okay, let's start by creating the models of the two animals which I want to live in my world. <laughs> and by creating, I obviously mean to yoink him out of the internet. Haha, <laughs> thank you Tom Cranes and... Uh, Pixel. Slap them into unity and let's go! Stop! Something is missing. Yeah, it's all coming together now. Alright, let's bring my creations to life. Hmm, I think I forgot something. Perfect. Hmm, okay. It looks kinda empty now, so... Alright. Let me take you with you and show you how this place is supposed to work. Can you see this small simple patch of grass? Yeah, that is where the deer is going to eat. And here, in this beautiful patch of water, the deer is going to drink. Oh, and in this beauty of a bush, the deer is going to sleep. Did you get all of that? <coughs> Alright, let's do this. It's done! Do you have any idea how long it took me to do this? You know how much I sacrifice? I have spawned in a bunch of deers now and they are roaming free in the scene. And as you can see, each of them has a few of these stat bars and each of these is basically randomized when I... And if a stat falls below a certain threshold, the deer wants to fulfill the desire. For example like here with this starving deer. Because it's hungry, it's walking towards the closest patch of edible grass and eats it. The same thing will also happen for sleeping. and drinking and uh, you know the good stuff you might have noticed that the deers have a health bar and there's nothing to harm them so let's change that good now that that's dead with let's create the predator out here in the wild a baby deer approaches the water pit thirsting for some water but what is that a stray fox on the hunt for prey. Look out, small deer, or else... Oh no, it seems that it is too late, for the baby deer has fell victim to the superior hunter, the low poly fox. Alright, let me quickly walk you through this code. Every animal has certain values as variables and each of them gets randomized when the animal is born. And each of the stats will slowly decrease over time. And this code here basically means that the animal is searching the closest spot of the thing that we desire. BORING! Let me just show you the finished simulation.
We have deers, we have foxes, we have water places, we have tall grass and high quality animations. We have folds in which the foxes can sleep and we have bushes in which the deers can sleep. And we also have reproduce an animal. Wait, what do you do? Oh my... And, yeah, I thought that a simulation would be more fun to watch. I guess I just stick with making dumb video games. And if you also want to learn how to make video games, just have a look on my channel or in my description. And then see you next time. Ciao! Make a simulation, they said. It would be funny, they said. What a freaking waste of time.